starting with the name of Allah who is most merciful and most beneficial. Hello everyone, I am Dilip Kumar, Amphil Scholar, Institute of Plant Science, University of Sindh, Pakistan. I have done my research work under the guidance and supervision of Dr. Nurul and Sumro and my co-supervisor is Dr. Rafiq Ahmed Lashari. My research topic is isolation and analysis of Palenomorph from Khardo Formation exposed at Ranikot Fort area in Pakistan. This slide shows the table of contents. Introduction Palenomorph organic walled microfossils between 5 to 500 micrometer in size. Palenomorph are composed of organic materials such as chitin, sporopollenin, and dinosporin. Palenomorphs are commonly involved such as spores, pollens, dinoflagellates, chitinozones, acritac, and cuticular fragments. Importance of the palenomorph it provides basic knowledge about the correlative age of microfossil thermal maturity deposition of environmental sedimentation its application in the regard to especially in oil and gas deposition it also help in estimating the exact age of the oil deposition it also give us clue about the reconstruction and past vegetation and paleoclimatology locality information my research area is located in district Jamshoro, Sindh, Pakistan this slide shows the Rani Fort area the name of this rocky fort area is a Rani Coat have a great historical well, this is the geological map of a runny coat. So some views uh, from this beautiful historical place, runny coat fort area. There is a great wall just like a China. So this is the fort from the runny coat. This is an other view uh, of a runny coat fort area. This slide shows the great wall of runny coat. A great wall of the Sindh from Ranikot Fort area. Uh, there is a, there are four uh, stratigraphic units in Ranikot Fort area. One of them is a Khardo formation. Um, from this formation, we have collected 28 rock samples, and this formation, Khardo formation, is brought uh, from the Hyderabad Dakhan due to the volcanic eruptions. Slide shows the stratical information of the locality. There are four formations, Khardo formation, Bara formation, Lucky formation and Manchar formation are the main stratigraphic unit exposed around the Rani Code Fort area. The, uh, this slide shows the aim and objectives uh, number one collection and isolation of palenomorph from rock samples of Khardo formation, identification of isolated palenomorphs, reconstruction of past vegetation history and paleoclimatology. The obtained result from the research work have been documented. Previous work many researchers have done uh, the the research, the research work on the palenomorphs in 2019 these scientists they have done the work on palenomorph in 2018 in 2017 and from pakistan these researchers they have done the work on palenomorph from pakistan material and method Sample collection, 28 samples were collected from Khardo Parmesan and then uh, kept in labeled bags and were brought to the botany laboratory for the further observation and experimentation. The 
this is this slide shows the experimental design and lab work so laboratory work isolation of palenoma from rocks so we have applied uh, the techniques which was described by phipps and plifford so for the maceration of sample uh, these steps are involves number 1 washing material was washed with the help of distilled water then after washing uh, the procedure of weighing and crushing uh, we have taken 60 g of each sample and sample were crushed uh, crushed with the help of pestle and mortar then material were transferred uh, into the already plastic jar already label already labeled plastic jars this is the reactivity test to know the rate of reaction we have done the reactivity test this is the result of reactivity test the slide shows the result of reactivity test sterilization we have used hydrochloric acid hydrofluoric acid and nitric acid to remove the minerals just like carbonates silicates and pyrites carbonates were removed by using the hydrochloric acid periodic periodically periodically 20% 30% 50% and 70% for a night mole of silicates the washed the washed sample were treated with the hydrofluoric acid for 4 to 6 time in order to neutralize it and we have used 20% 30% 50% 17% <laughs> with intervals through the night oxidation of palenoma we have used different quantity of nitric acid for the oxidation of palenoma alkali treatment was done by using the 1% of potassium chloride there is a hint if it Uh, if the sample turn into a coffee color which indicate that palenoma were oxidized then this coffee color was washed with the help of uh, with the help of distilled water we have used zinc chloride solution with 1.98 specific gravity and this specific gravity was maintained uh, by the heating of hard zinc chloride and then uh, we have added uh, the 30 ml of 50% of hydrochloric acid and the specific gravity was measured by hydrometer and that was 1.98 then this solution is used for the uh, centrifugation in, in the centrifugation process we have used the plastic tubes and the before using uh, the our macerated sample macerated sample were uh, dried with the help of kitchen tissue paper and then material were trans transferred in uh, to these plastic tubes after that uh, we have done the centrifuge at the speed of 300 to 500 round per meter for 30 minute one thing is noted that each tube was filled with zinc chloride solution and half of macerated samples then rings were uh, then rings were found and rings were organic material these rings were taken out by using insulin syringe uh, syringe droppers or disposable syringe we have used different sources to uh, taken out these rings then slides were covered with the cover slip which were already washed out with uh, the dilute hydro uh, sodium hydroxide and finally sealed with nail polish only for glycerine microphotography uh, was done with the help of omex propu digital camera results and discussion now the session of result and discussions so the there is a palenoma of composition 
28 rock, rock samples were examined and 51 palinomorph were isolated. Among these recovered palinomorphs, uh, there are different types of pollen grain, fungi, uh, uh, algal, uh, algal remains and angiospermic and angiospermic remains were found. So these are the microphotography uh, plate number 1, plate number 2, plate number 3, plate number 4, plate number 5, 6, 7. So this slide shows the productivity rate of palinomorph. After the microscopic examina examination, the recovered palinomorph was systematically described and data was developed. This slide shows the uh, identified spe specimen, specimen and the and their quantity and their quantity. Fungal spores, uh, algal remains, angiosperms, uh, there is a fawn spores and lycopsida. This slide, this slide shows the recovered palinomorph quantity. Description of isolated palinomorphs. This specimen belongs to the fungal spore and the spore is bicellate oval aperture. This specimen is also belong to the algal remains. There is a dental like structure is present and the name of species is Penulera dentu denticulate. This specimen uh, is belong to the an angiosperm and this pollen grain is a monosilicate pollen grain and umb is a an umb spherical dark brown monosulcate pollen grain. This pollen grain is belong is belong to angiosperm and family RAC, dark brown in color and the shape is a subcircular. Uh, this uh, pollen grain is belong to angiosperm. This is uh, the color of a specimen, the color of pollen grain is light brown and um circular thick, uh, thick wall. Uh, this pollen grain is uh, this pollen grain is belong to the polygonesi family and uh, uh, polyporate there is many pores that's why this pollen grain is called polyporate this monoporate pollen grain is belong to the family poesi this monocolpate pollen grain is belong to the angiosperm. This kidney shape spore is belong to the uh, ferns and this kidney shape spore is monolith spore there is with one scale. This specimen is belong to RAC family pollen is a shady brown subcircular. This dark spore is a um circular to round triangular and and axine consists of irregular spine and cones this spore is belong to the lycopsida spore this pollen grain which is brown and monoporate grain uh, with thick spherical wall this pollen grain is belong to the family Nymphaceae of gymnosperm. This unsepted, unbranched filament is belong to algal microfossil. This dark brown specimen is also belong to algal microspore. This freshwater terrestrial filament look like single flinted layer, which is uplifted is belong to the algal microspore. So this filament is belong to the marine algal and this filament is also belong with the algal microfilament fossils. This slide shows the frequency of palinomorph record.
Conclusion: A uh, 28 rock sample of Carlo formation were examined. 20, uh, 51, 51 palinomorph were isolated. Among those mostly had been found morphologically similar. 17 palinomorph with the scientific name and families were identified. Palinomorph relation belonging to varied ecological environment uh, such as uh, fresh water. marine wetland and water age members so algal remains is a specimen which shows different environment such as marine environment and fresh water environment pollen grain of ares is proves the coastal vegetation nymphaceae the member of nymphaceae family shows the fresh water vegetations and dicela sporites fungus which shows Uh, there was a hot humid uh, with a heavy rain fall environment the ferns spore uh, which shows the eustrine environment and the palinomorph of the different groups based on the distribution pattern and confirms that the during the deposition time of the carlo formation environment was hot this is the future plane there is a great Uh, we have found uh, we have found a few number of mega fossils such as such as fossil wood coal and traces of leaves uh, which uh, which can be useful to better knowledge about the past environment uh, environment and vegetation and there is also great space for the researchers scientists is still untouched various sites of the rani code fort area and need attention for the protection of our valuable resources for the future studies so these are the references we have used from different sources thank you so much now uh, thank you so much